Hello and welcome to our show. I'm Shweta Talwar and with me is Mr. Ankur Dhawan, Chief Business Officer, Resales, Prop Tiger. Welcome to our show, Ankur. Thanks, Shweta. At a time when the real estate market is stopped for cash and raising funds is getting increasingly difficult for developers, will the requirements to keep 70% of funds in an escrow account add to the problem? True. So this will be the toughest problem which our builder will face because they have not thought about it till now and the money which they have taken as an advance from the customer might have been used in other things. So this will be a tough challenge for them, but I think they will have to find a way out of it. Uh, so I think the projects which are at a stage of completion of 80 to 90 percent, they will try to push the completion quickly and come out of the ambit of this bill. That is one thing. And that, that actually will be a large part of the current outstanding projects which are there. And there are few projects which are just launched and will, take, will have to be launched they'll have to find the money. So, they are, so the only way I see is that there are a lot of investment coming up because government has also relaxed the FDI norms in the real estate. So that will help builders raise some money from the foreign institutions and they also see that the market is improving. So they will be more than willing to give the money to these guys. So my assumption is the money will come. Uh, the developers will have to go for it. There have been instances of buyers feeling left out in the cold because of delays in delivery. To what extent could the new legislation address the issue? See, delays in delivery are, there are multiple reasons. One of the reasons has been the approval itself. Uh, the approvals take time and the developers might commit some timeline which they cannot deliver because approval did not come. The other reason uh, which has been the kind of major reason has been the cash. The cash is dried in, in the process of launching and constructing the project and the developer does not have a cash to complete the project. So if I look at two provisions which are saying that you can launch project only after the you have got all the approvals and you have got the approval from authority. So that takes care of the delay in the process. The second, which, which is that the money which you are taking from a customer has to put an escrow account. So the two key reasons for delay and delivery should go away. Uh, apart from this, if there is some project management delay, which, which can happen to any project because the large projects are there. In that case, builder has to pay the same amount which he is going to charge a customer uh, in case he delays the payment to the developer. So I think this is a level playing field. I don't think their deliveries uh, will de be delayed going forward. At least the intentional delay in deliveries will not happen. Developers want to de deliver the projects and they will deliver on time with this particular bill coming in place. Ankur, what could be the price impact of the new legislation on the real estate market? See, if you look in short term, uh, we expect supply to go down. The developers might not be able to launch because they are waiting for approvals and because they will try to comply with the law they will try to ensure the processes are in the place before they launch a project. So we expect the supply to go down in the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, and in the hope of this law getting passed and, and, and assent, uh, implemented by the state authorities, the, the demand will increase. The buyers now see that this, the problems which they were facing in the industry are gone. So demand will increase and supply will go down. The obvious impact will be in terms of the cost increase. So prices are liable to go up at least in short term I can see. Also, we need to see that developer have to put 70% of the money which they are receiving from customer in an account for which they need to generate the cash. So their cost of funding will also increase and that will also impact the prices. So um, more or less, we expect the prices now to start increasing. Thank you for being on our show, Ankur. Thanks, Shweta. Keep watching our show. For more real estate updates, do follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.